So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can fill an object or shape in Affinity with a pattern. So the pattern will be something that you've either created and then saved as an image like a JPEG, or it could be something that you downloaded off the internet from a stock site or from Pixabay or similar. So um, you can do this with any sort of image and you can also do this with a seamless pattern. So let's start out by drawing just a simple shape. I'm in Affinity Designer, but all three programs uh, allow you to fill. So um, I'm just going to demonstrate it in Designer, but it works the same way in Publisher and Photo. So then over here on my left toolbar, I have one that's a, a circle that's kind of like a chromatic color wheel with an arrow pointing out. And when I hover, it says Fill Tool. So I've got my object selected right now, and now I'm going to switch to the Fill Tool. And then I get a new toolbar up top here. So under Context, I want to fill this shape, so I'm going to choose Fill. And under Type, Solid will give you just a solid color like we have now. The next couple options give you different styles of gradients. And then the last one, Bitmap, is the one that we want. And that will bring up your File Explorer automatically as soon as you click on it and then we can choose the image that we want to fill with and it will fill it and it'll give us a couple of handles here that we can use to rescale it we can rotate it and either one of these handles will do the same thing now it's scaling proportionately at the moment um, but if I wanted to do it disproportionately, there's a little lock here. When I hover, it says Maintain Fill Aspect Ratio. If I turn that off, then I would be able to just adjust one of these at a time and stretch or compress in a single direction rather than proportionately. I'm going to turn this back on. The other thing you can do is the center circle you can use to move the image around within the shape. So if you wanted to place an image in a certain location, you could do that. And then under Extend, we've got a couple different options. So right now it's on Wrap, and it's just kind of tiling it in a repeat. So if we use Mirror, it's just going to mirror the image so you can see, for example, here how it's just reflecting on itself right now. And then um, I don't really use repeat. It kind of just does strange things. So uh, zero, though, will give you just a single instance of the image. So if you have a single image you're placing and you don't want it to repeat or tile, um, you can use the zero option here. And then you'll just get one instance of your pattern. So the other thing I want to show you is this also works for the stroke. So I'm just going to switch to the Move tool here, click on my object, and go up to the Stroke option here. And let's just make it wider so that we can see it. It's white right now, which is why you're not seeing the outline of it. So let's just change that to a color so that it is obvious. So there we go. There's our stroke. So now with the object selected, I can go back to the Fill tool. And this time I want the context to be Stroke. And then type Bitmap. And then I can just look for something to fill it with. So maybe some sparkly something. That looks awful, but <laughs> you get the idea. And you can do the same thing with the handles. You can. Uh, make it go in or out, scale it, and you can change these options, you can change the aspect ratio. So that is how you fill both uh, the fill of a shape as well as the stroke of a shape.